Uh, switch gears right away. I've got company on set, which is very, very exciting. Now, let's begin by listening to Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, who went to Harvard College, I might add, questioning Harvard's president over anti-Semitism. Um, I think this was yesterday or the day before. Take a listen. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. If the yes speech or becomes, no. If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? I'm gonna give you one more opportunity for the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be harassment. Dr. Gay, at Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment, yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. So oh, these people have now gone, they tried to walk it back a little bit, uh, a tiny bit. I mean, they've gone from pathetic, this was two days ago, good for Elise Stefanik, our pal, uh, to just being mealy mouth. okay? Not one of them, MIT, Penn, Harvard, not one of them deserves to be a college president much less the president of a prestigious school, which they are ruining. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about that. Liz Peek, syndicated columnist, Fox News contributor, Droy Murdoch, senior fellow, uh, the American Spectator, Fox News contributor, and contributor to The Daily uh, Caller. Um, I, actually, the one I went to is, was not part of this. The one you went to wasn't exactly part of this either. It, came, it got involved. Wellesley College was under the gun oh. for being for oh. not having the moral, moral uh, clarity that they should have had. Well, that's the thing. How can these presidents? These are smart women. Okay, they're well educated. They have thousands of degrees. And one of them, I think, the one from Penn. One of them said she wasn't focused. Yeah. What kind of Her... utter BS, mealy mouth nonsense is about Israeli genocide? Yeah. Really? Let me ask you this. Okay, I want to cut right to it. Deroy, excuse me for this, but I want to ask this. The woman from Harvard, African-American, black, okay, yeah. fine. My question is, if you were talking about a black genocide... Yep. And, yep. That, and that's yep. what Elise exactly Stefanik right. asked her. That's it. Oh, she did? I are you allowed to walk around your campus okay. calling for the murder of blacks? Do you of think she would have, right. do, she, right. do you think she would have yeah, said, if, I'm looking for context? Right, yeah. if somebody said exactly, you know, do you, uh, is, is lynching blacks evil? Well, it depends, and you need yeah, to compare context. it to this. I don't know. No, the answer is, <laughs> yes, it's evil. And advocating the genocide of Jews is evil. It's a very easy question. My question is, who did they think they might offend if they spoke that clearly? They think, oh, if we say that, we might get some Their people students, angry. Their students, my Maybe dear. The, well, Their then they, they need to show mm -hmm. some adult supervision and leadership and say, folks, this is right. evil. Boys and girls, this is evil. Follow us, or follow our adult lead on this, if these little boys and girls need that kind of moral it's, guidance. It's pretty pathetic, because who they have insulted is all their donors, and that is costing them big time. Good. I hope Good. I hope they learn a lesson here. I mean, again, there is no question that there was no moral clarity in what these people had to say, and they kept falling back on, we really embrace freedom of speech. No, you don't. We know there's no diversity of opinion <laughs> on these campuses. FIRE, the F-I-R-E group, rates them both at the bottom of the pack. So it's a lie, and I, I must say, excuse me for jumping in, yeah. but really, it is so offensive to me that these college presidents have absolutely no commitment whatsoever to moral values, mm -hmm. and that's really what we're talking that's about. That's what a college president or that's what a college yes. professor should be doing. Yeah, yes. In local moral parentis, values. it's called. In that's local what, parentis. That's your mom and Your moms are dads at home, and we here on campus are going to do the best to, right. to, to be your parents. And I wanted to run this story. We you. ran it last night. I, it's not out of my system yet. It's just so damn infuriating. I mean, look, a lot of people are talking about the Republican debate last night. I think it was a ridiculous debate. Trump's, Trump won the debate by not showing up. This is more important. This college professorship. And the other thing is, um, some people uh, are talking about taking their, their 501c3s, take their tax exemption away. What do you think of that, Liz? You know, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think there are other things you it's can do. It's a complicated. It is a little bit, because we want these colleges. They are the best in the world. We want them to continue leading uh, intellectual uh, rigor around the world, etc. So I, I, I applaud them. I do want people to support them. Uh, there are other things I think, though, that really need to happen. For example, this idea that they can, that they are donating, uh, or sorry, receiving tons of money from overseas countries uh -huh. and not reporting it. Cut that that's off. a violation. Absolutely. Uh, Do something to enforce the law. I mean, that's bad. Yeah, just just that few, ought to be transparent at a minimum. Yeah. Just a few moments, though. These elitist, expensive 
uh, prestigious colleges on the two coasts. I'm not hearing this kind of talk or these kinds of demonstrations at Ohio State. I'm not hearing it from LSU. I'm not hearing it from the University of Alabama. In other words, you've got a big split. I mean, it's almost red versus blue states. Sense, yeah. And it now covers everything. And it's not just on the economy. It's on moral clarity or the lack thereof or racism. I mean, gen Israeli genocide is not a form of racism, yeah, really? Absolutely. Of course it is. Yeah. I mean, that's the part that's so... And, important. yeah, you do see this, see this. You say sort of the, the coastal left-wing universities are, are the ones leading this. And we've always thought that, uh, you know, Jews and Democrats walk hand in hand, and yet the Democrat left are the biggest enemies of the Jews in the, co in the country today, which is astonishing. Well, all right. How about that? Liz Peake, Andrew Murdoch. Thank you, kids. We appreciate it.